Welcome, Fayette County Public School families. Today's video covers Fayette County Virtual Academy Parent Orientation, grades K through 5. What is Fayette County Virtual Academy? Fayette County Virtual Academy is an innovative option for public education and one that we deem to be appropriate and necessary for Fayette County Public Schools. This option is 100% online and will provide a year-long opportunity for pre-K through 12 students from September until May. Enrolling in FCVA is free of charge. Daily routines and instruction will take place virtually and will allow students to work from home while using a computer or tablet to participate in instruction. At the end of each semester, FCVA students will have the option to attend in person if they choose. This will cause the student to possibly have a different teacher and a different schedule. Our mission and vision at Fayette County Virtual Academy will be to focus on meeting the unique needs of our diverse students, preparing them for college or career in the 21st century through high quality instruction in our virtual platform. Enrollment for Fayette County Virtual Academy was held July 31st through August 5th. A second enrollment was opened August 17th through the 21st. Enrollment in FCVA was a separate enrollment and it is not the same as registering your student for Fayette County Public Schools. Every student must be registered with Fayette County Public Schools before enrolling in FCVA. Enrollment was completed through a Google Form link located at our website www.fcsk12.net. A separate form did need to be completed for each child in the home. Once the enrollment form was completed, a student will remain in FCVA for the first semester. After that semester is over, a student will have the option to attend in person or remain in FCVA. Parents and students will complete a consent form and a parent-student compact to commit to each semester of Fayette County Virtual Academy. These forms were completed and due last Thursday, September 17th, 2020. At the end of each semester, FCVA students will have the option to attend in person if they so choose. Close communication with your child's teacher will help you make this informed decision. If you need to unenroll for any reason at the end of each semester, Please contact your teacher and school chief to help you through this process. An enrollment can be completed only at the end of each semester and will be done through a Google link form located at the Fayette County Public School website. The following forms, the virtual learning consent form and the school parent compact were due last Thursday, September 17th, 2020. In FCVA, parents and guardians, as well as every person involved in educating our students, has expectations. As parents and guardians, we hope that you will make sure to pick up any district-issued devices if needed for your students to continue their learning process. Please monitor district communications for up-to-date information regarding school closures, instructional continuation plans, and digital learning resources. Please ensure that your children know their usernames and passwords for all instructional resources. Please have a working phone number, email address, and a way to access the internet. Please maintain communication with your child or children's teachers and school counselors. If you chose to use a district issue device, please make sure you have signed and submitted the appropriate technology usage and agreement form to your current school. Please notify your child or children's teacher or principal immediately if there are issues or problems with your technology. And please understand scheduling, communication, and expectations for your students. Parents should be able to clearly answer, what will each day or week look like for my child? Students of Fayette County Virtual Academy should dedicate appropriate time to learning, using the time on task recommendations, or as guided by your teachers. Students should check Clever and online platforms such as Seesaw for grades pre-K through 5 or Canvas grades 6 through 12 shared by your school or teacher for information on your classes, assignments, and resources daily. Students should submit all assignments by due dates established by your teachers. Students should sign and submit the appropriate technology usage and agreement form to your school if a district device is used. 
Please notify your teacher or principal immediately if there are problems with your technology. Students should understand clearly the student expectations for remote learning. Students should have access to working, well-supported devices and the internet. Students will be provided with all learning materials, such as a textbook and or calculator. Students will virtually attend student orientation, and students can know and can access all programs with correct usernames and passwords. FCVA students will follow the Code of Conduct for Conduct and Discipline in our Conduct Tiered System described in School Board Policy 6.300. All inappropriate behavior during live Zoom sessions will not be tolerated and will result in disciplinary action. FCVA students will follow the procedures and code of conduct related to student discrimination, harassment, and bullying, cyberbullying, and intimidation described in School Board Policy 6.304. The following are suggested supplies that have been found helpful in virtual learning. However, these items are not necessary to purchase. Attendance is a key factor in student achievement and therefore students are expected to be present virtually each day that school is in session. The director of schools or designee shall develop appropriate administrative procedures to implement this policy. Attendance in FCVA will be measured daily through Clever logon and work completion. Logging on Clever will not be the only determination of attendance daily. Students who do not sufficiently progress through their assignments in each course each day will be deemed absent for that day. Official attendance is recorded by the FCVA teacher. FCVA students will follow the normal district instructional calendar. Attendance, engagement, and participation could be found through the following. Attending Zoom sessions, attendance assignment, participating in threaded discussions, submitting work, taking an assessment online, uploading a video or assignment, or through one-on-one -on -one communication via phone, email, or through our platform Seesaw. The following 2020-2021 school calendar will be followed just as all students in Fayette County Public Schools. The Instructional Day. Fayette County Public Schools will provide support and resources for our teachers who are strictly online as well as support for our parents who have to prepare their children for online learning. Instructional support will include collaborative learning, lectures, discussions, and projects. Instruction will consist of recorded lessons and live communication through Zoom. Pre-K and kindergarten students will have a four-hour instructional day. Grades 1 through 12 will have a six-and-a-half-hour instructional day. Instruction time will be flexible for students and families allowing scheduled lessons and activities to be completed at any time within regular school hours for that day. Any live sessions will be recorded to allow students to go back and watch at another time. Students will upload an agenda with suggested student schedules weekly in Seesaw to assist families in pacing and planning student work. Students will have access to digital online learning materials and instructional activities to remain engaged in learning throughout the 2020-2021 school year. All elementary students will continue to access their learning materials through our learning management platform, Seesaw. It will provide all of the materials required for sustaining a student's academic preparation for an essential learning areas. All face-to-face -face instruction will be continued to be delivered through Zoom. All Zoom sessions will be recorded and made available to your student in the event that they were unable to participate in live time. Students will also have access to all district textbooks and supplemental materials. All elementary students, teachers, will change. You will be contacted this week by your child's new FCVA teacher. During this transition time this week, all elementary students will be able to access their Clever during the week. However, if they do try to log in and access is not available, we are experiencing our transition period. Once that transition period in our systems is complete, students will be ready and able to log on on Monday, September 28, 2020 and access all new learning materials and their new teachers. 
Our special services populations will receive their grade level content from their teacher of record and remediation from their special education teacher based on the student's individual educational plan. Please note that students with disabilities should not receive and would not receive the optical learning experience using the virtual classroom due to the need of hands-on activities and intensive intervention to close a student's learning gaps. Students with active IEPs and or 504s who normally participate in mainstream classes in the traditional school setting will utilize the same learning option the district is using. Lessons will be done online using Seesaw or, or Canvas, our virtual platforms. Some of the lessons will be recorded to allow for flexibility in parent scheduling. Students with active IEPs and or 504s will receive their services from the special education teacher at their assigned school. Please note our FCVA flowchart. Students and parents, if you have any questions regarding anything with Fayette County Virtual Academy, please contact your FCVA teacher first. If your FCVA teacher cannot answer the appropriate questions, please contact Amelia Morrison, Chief of Fayette County Virtual Academy, or you may also contact any school chief. We will work in conjunction together with the Fayette County Virtual Academy academic team to solve all issues. All required testing, state and benchmark testing will be done on a school site. These dates and times at these school sites with social distancing will be determined at a later date. It is necessary that students have a laptop, Chromebook, desktop computer, iPad, or device with a camera or microphone. If you have received a district issued device, it is essential that you stress the importance of taking care of the device and handling it responsibly and respectively. Students can access their classes and additional resources through Seesaw. However, maintaining high-speed internet access throughout the school year is required. Students will continue to use their single sign-on, clever.com, to access any instructional content. Through Clever, students will be able to access their online learning platform, Seesaw. Students will continue to use their assigned district email address to log on to district devices. It is of utmost importance that if you are experiencing technical issues with your district issue devices, that you do not take the district equipment to any other service or tech provider for assistance or repair, as this will void your insurance policy. Please follow the support flowchart in order to get troubleshooting help. Each school will have a designated tech device support specialist in order to assist you with any troubleshooting needs first. If a technical issue arises, a technology ticket may be submitted from our Fayette County Schools website under the FCVA tab. Please choose the link associated with your appropriate school and the support specialist will receive and respond to that ticket. Mental health is an important part of every student's individual overall health and well-being, and it affects how people think, feel, and act. It also affects how our students handle stress, relate to others, and make choices. At Fayette County Public Schools, we have dedicated to our students and staff their physical and mental well-being as a top priority. As such, we have implemented a new three-tiered approach called MOOD, Motivating Optimism Through Opportunities Daily. Teachers, counselors, and social workers will provide embedded lessons as well as check-ins with students. Fayette County Public Schools will feed all students registered with the county. Meals will continue to be delivered as long as we are not in the hybrid model as a district. When we move to a hybrid model, meals will need to be picked up at your child's assigned school. Please contact anyone on the Fayette County Virtual Academy team if you have any questions.